Hey, 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 what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Chris, and I'm back at it again with another banger video. See, I can't really like adjust my arms though, because it still hurts from all that lifting. So I still can't do that, Jen. But I'm here with my beautiful mother. Hey, y'all. And I already know what we want. What? What the fuck? And you already know what we are reacting to. I'm very interested in it. I am. So, Since we started this. don't forget to leave a like, comment, and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and. Let's get straight into it. Everything I've been through, what the demons I've been I think about death every day. 50K on your head. You don't know, you don't never know who's coming. I ain't gonna let that step on me. I gotta stay dangerous. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I wanna dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? Out of the blue, I oh, hear shots. I think I got shot. I blinked out, but I can hear my little brother. I said, I'm about to die. I put been on my pit, but how could I slip? Jacksonville police have arrested the only surviving of the quadruple shooting. I, this tragedy just happened to me. You got me the last box from me. He not letting me go to my brother's funeral. You know the consequences and the repercussions of the streets. I cry every night before I go to sleep. I might not make it see five years. Mm -hmm. There's a new wave of rappers that have been steady on the rise in Jacksonville, taking over and putting their city on the map. But no matter how these artists blow up, their street life always seem to tag along and get in the way of their success. We've seen so many lives lost, and Jacksonville is overshadowed by the situation between two rival cliques. Young and Ace ATK and Julio Fulio's KTA have been leaving a trail of bodies behind their beef, and the body count doesn't seem to be near stopping. With both being shot, near losing their lives, Ace and Fulio's beef are spilling over into their camps and that's Jacksonville hot. I've got the inside scoop between the camps, and we gonna focus in on the drama and may at least around the Fulio and Ace. Let's dig into this rivalry that's terrifying the city of Jacksonville mm. and just who's who in the beat. Youngins have been wilding in Jacksonville lately, creating a surge of gunplay that has rocketed the uh, side. Oh my goodness. goodness. It's in their mind, like, I don't know at the 2000s, baby, really. Like, it's in their mind, they just turned right now. Like, I don't know, bro. If they mentality, shit, shoot first, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Chief Keith Wave, I don't know who did it, but he just turned up. I don't know. That's probably what it is. But the two notable rappers that have been in a highly publicized beef, resulting in multiple cool. lives lost, are Fulio and Ace. Now, Fulio's crew, KTA, stands for Kill Em All. And well, oh. that's self explanatory. Ace, on the other hand, is no more subtle in their savagery. His ATK has been rumored to be tied to his name, meaning Ace to Kill, with the signature writing Spade 2X. But word on the street is that its real meaning is Aim to Kill. These rappers aren't mm. the ones that do the talking for clout. They live that life and had a scars and blood trail to prove it. Now, where did all this start? Young and Ace has been the face of Jacksonville since his debut hit, Go to which showcased the rapper's versatility. Being from the type of lifestyle he came up in, the beats follow, and the one that cost him many friends, family, and nearly his own life is the one that his crew, ATK, had with KTA. And Fulio, who was also one of Jacksonville's buzzing rappers, was started out as a confusion between two rappers that could have been squashed by a simple conversation became something that engulfed Jacksonville. For like, Outside people that ain't like from like Duval and shit that don't like this shit ain't what it like. Like if you ain't from here, you won't know what's going on in the streets of Duval. So shit. That makes sense. That being said, you niggas like ain't nothing though. So it ain't that deep. Nah, ain't so if y'all just see each other, it'll be cool. The retaliation mm. and dropping the bodies on each camp sparked from the banging of Fulio's cousin Zion Brown, mm. which seemed like a planned hit. 18-year-old Zion Brown was the only adult in the home, along with two teens, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old oh. boy. And get this, the trigger puller, DeAndre Thomas, was wanted by the cops for a failed robbery with Young and Ace that got Ace seven months in the pen. Zion would be the first recorded fallen victim in the beef that then set things spiraling out of control. The ops would get their get back on ATK. Young and Ace would be the target while celebrating his blood brother, Trayvon Bullers, aka Quan Quan, 18th birthday, detailing the gruesome scene where his blood brother Quan through the streets, Royale Smith, and close friend you Kobe that? Groover, aka Foe, lost their lives, leaving him with eight bullet wounds. Ace became even more cold. 
A shooter or yeah, shooters on the yeah. run after yes, four yes, teens yes. are gunned down to the south side. What we're learning yeah, so I'm going to make you watch those two, shooting. even though they didn't give us so much detail. But 18 year old Trayvon yeah, Bullard, so 19 year old Jacoby Groover, lot, lot and 18 year old Royale Smith. They lost their lives That's a cool late last Royale. night. Police say the shooter followed the three along with a fourth survivor. Having previously experienced pain from losing both his uncle and another brother he looked up to. My uncle had died when I was like 13, 14. Oh, my goodness. And he was like, uh, he was like a daddy with me because my dad was doing 15 years in prison and he was like that. The, the head of our family. You know, you got that one person in that family that just control it. Matter of fact, I don't know. My brother got shot in front of me. That was a big loss. You know what I'm saying? Shit. That was, a big, that was the biggest loss I ever, I ever experienced. I ain't gonna speak too much on that, but shit, we, he just got shot, though. He, shot him, he got shot in front of me, though. Shit. Man, that was a big loss, though. Ace was going through it, feeling the weight of blaming himself for not protecting his day one. I'm lost. I feel like it was my fault. I always feel like that. I'm gonna forever feel like that. Everybody said don't feel like that, but you don't, you don't know how it feel. Like, it's like everybody on your watch, like they right here with you. How could you let this happen? To this day, they three faces is inked across his abdomen. As we've seen countless times before, once the bodies start piling, the beef just keeps escalating and only catches on to everyone around. Now ATK and KTA was in an all out battle at this point, but they made oh, no, man fighting for his life yeah, well, on the hospital yeah. bed. He had been shot eight times, and I believe at that point we had three or four or eight bullets inside of him still, um, considering he really needed to go to a hospital. Because he didn't have insurance, the hospital wouldn't take the bullets out of him. So while he was in custody, Ooh. it was really became that part. It was the responsibility of the sheriff's office to make sure he got the medical care he needed. Sheriff's office didn't give him medical they care. Did. They didn't give him antibiotics. And they basically just oh. left him in there. ATK was slipping slowly. Fulio took the opportunity to taunt his ops and make light of Ace's fallen brothers and homies. Royal. Royal Smith, this that 4X, who else that is? Quack, quack, da, da, da. Ace caught wind of Fulio's antics while recovering, got out of the hospital, dropped a freestyle. Laying in the hospital bed, they shots to my body and on my mind and my brother. They say, them three didn't make it, tears full of pain, no other way I can take it. And got on Fulio's head and his KTA ops, we're talking sideways about the loss of his bro. Don't f they be riding to the gate, yeah. You know they kill my brother, boy. Stop that. Kill my brother, so don't let them tell you that. You think you didn't kill my brother? You think you wanna meet that shit next on? They better stop that shit. Y'all better stop y'all motherfucking eyes up. Rappers just like. I ain't no nigga ain't gonna play with me. Ain't no nigga ain't no play with me, bro. Real life, real ain't gonna play with me, but I'm about my shit. I'm about my business. And Fulio being the Jacksonville Grim Reaper, doubled down on his word in the face of threats and taunts. Mm -hmm. Repercussions of the streets. If you in the streets and you grown, like, you know what the consequences are, you dead or you in jail, man. Oh, well, People realize that too late to a nigga dead, though, like, you feel me? People just felt like I was wrong. Said, really, all this out here thinking, you know the consequences of something yeah. happened to you. But time proved this to not be the best decision he could make. If we learn anything from these street beefs, is what? Don't disrespect nobody's fallen homies. That continues to be one of the main reasons beef gets spun out of control and turn a situation into an endless cycle of gunplay. You disrespecting my dead homeboy, so now I want to dish your dead. You get what I'm saying? So it'd be like a little tit for tat shit like that. Fulio and his gang seem to have the upper hand and continue pressing ATK. This is where things got even more dicey. Turns out, a rapper by the name of Willie Addison, aka Boss Goon, got shot up after leaving the Paradise Club with relatives where he just performed at the club. I guess two or three cars pulled up on the side of us, shot inside our car over a hundred times, killed my son in the front seat. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Shot my son in the back, in the, in the head, three times. Shot my nephew. Oh. 
several times. A couple more passengers in there were shot uh, several times, numerous shots? times. Oh my God. And I drove all the way from there to Memorial Hospital, shot in the back myself twice. This happened to be the brother and family members mm. of Ace's right hand man wow. and shooter, K. Sue. This dude don't care. And we'll find oh out why God. I say that soon. Six people total sustained injuries, including Kesu's dad, Abdul Robinson. But his brother, Boss Goon, didn't make it. Boss was only out for a couple months from a 10-year sentence. Kesu already plotting revenge on his mom. Wow. Got the perfect chance to exact retribution alongside his father, carrying out a hit on rapper Charles McCormick, a.k.a. KTA Lil Buck, who was drilled in Arlington during a daytime ambush in the shopping plaza. Both Kesu and his father set news outlets and hip-hop sites on fire with the father-son hit that upped the score for ATK. Developing now, that. a father and son have been arrested ah, in connection with wow. a shooting at an Arlington shopping center. 21-year-old Hakeem Robinson and his father, 49-year-old Abdul Robinson, are both in the Duval County Jail. Now, let's pause a bit to talk about Ace's shooter, k Sue. If his name sounds familiar, he was the rapper that made international news replacing his lost ops on his album cover. Yep, you heard that right. Dude don't give two Fs. This album cover... It hurts my heart, like, to see my son on there as a joke. But wait, there is a great significance in this if you pay attention to the subliminal diss to ATK. Wow. This in itself it's... was an act of disrespect that hit home for Fulio because many of the names were a reference to his fallen KTA homies, like Dirk, Zion, and his homie Bibi Osama, Gunfire erupts inside a northwest side apartment complex. It leaves this 16-year-old dead. Who ace and them constantly disrespects it online oh after deleting it. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this wound cut deep for Fulio. Yeah. Releasing his tribute track, Bibby Story, to his close friend that became a notable record. Do you remember when I played that song? Oh, Bibby, that's my little brother. I probably yeah, gotta hear it again. I'll play it for you. Oh, uh, that shit, that song, no, that, that was like a I tribute or testimony to him. This... I lost him, I was like one of the last niggas he was with before he, he passed and shit like that. K. Sue pours salt in the wound with his disgustingly disrespectful diss track. K Sue detailing scenes from the hit. What? And you know we smoke little The bodies just kept stacking up. Yeah, the show no sign of slowing down That's between crazy. Fulio's KTA and Ace's ATK. Soon, just as Ace felt was wet up, Fulio got a brush with the grave when a bullet grazed his skull in an attempt on his life. The bitch uh got me when they killed me. On Kendrick. Stupid. And when he survived and they couldn't finish the job, they later banged on his girl, nearly taking her life as well. Y'all thought I was dead. You remember saying that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, score just yet. Yeah. <laughs> By this point, both camps have already lost so much. And this is crazy. Them, but no matter how much their music got more attention and their fame kept rising, the street mentality was just rooted too deep to let go and move on. After having an attempt on his life where he narrowly survived, Ace was again the target, while at the Waycross Hotel, where he was staying while in the area for a performance. He got away unscathed this time, but one of his homies was injured, and the other was added to KTA's scoreboard. The scene of Sunday's shooting, a group of men, including rapper Young and Ace, were near the pool when they were shot at, according to police. Fulio couldn't wait for a chance to jump at the opportunity, continuing to mock Ace and his ATK hitman k Sue, lost homies, only to find himself losing two more of his KTA comrades, Spaz 2X and Rod K, one day after the next, after it appeared Rod K would pull through. It's like an endless back oh and forth, man. One moment KTA is laughing, the next ATK. Truth is, no one has the last laugh when it comes to beef, mm -hmm. just pain and falling homies. 
But Ace and his right hand man, ATK Kesu, had to go tit for tat, clowning Fulio for losing two more members. Since the mom sent their ass back the same way, back in the box, talking about. You gotta check the scope. Check the scope. Fulio took it in stride, posting up a single message before going right back to resuming the beat. This time, taking things a step further, aiming for Ace's shooter, K Su, who the cops caught on to and locked up by this time for the hit on Lil Buck. Fulio made fun of his arrest and even dragged his pops into the beat and exposed K Su, posting receipts of his sister rocking with his set, as well as K Su repping for Fulio before he jumped size to Ace. Wow. That's crazy. I know. Birthday. It's always the same thing we see with these vids. Dudes always friends turned enemy. Mm. Dudes is talented and really putting Jacksonville on the map, but slowly drawing new rappers like Spot'em Got'em and J.D. Youngin into the beat. You niggas, you niggas ain't never, you niggas ain't never putting no work. You niggas just be rapping on the mic. I don't just rap. I don't talk about other niggas' life on my mic. Be me, you niggas. Oh. But we'll address that in a separate vid. For now, we'll keep our eye on how things turn out and trust. I'ma update you with the latest info. It's getting crazier and crazier in Jacksonville. The way things is going, the OGs of ATK and KTA might be gone if this keep up. For me, for shit. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm out, y'all. Baby. Um. Oh. <sighs> okay. Uh. I've never heard so much killing in one video. Right. Not even that. Not. Like. I don't know if it, they worse than the TBG. I was about to say I don't that. Know like. I, like I don't know who the disrespect was. Okay, now actually we're gonna do this. The the other videos I I had planned that you know mm -hmm. scratch that. Um, uh, I'm gonna keep this in the video too. Scratch that. Okay. It says the gang warfare in Baton Rouge NBA versus uh TBG versus BBG. So we already watched ba the Baton Rouge. We all we watched all yeah. of that. Right, we're gonna watch this. All right. All right. Dang, what got me? Was he had the audacity to put them on the cover? That right. is the that's most like, and I'm with the mama. That hurt to see my son, yeah, being a mockery. That is, and he put a dist. Oh my god, like it was a lot but of disrespect thing is, going on. Everybody, look, baby, you at the hospital. Everybody wants to go live, 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 but you just got shot. Hey, but I will say this. Please tell me what you think. Playing with death on a thread. Yeah, oh, on yeah. a thread. And they all young. Yeah, fully all even said it's these 2K babies. Babies born in the year 2000, you know. Yeah. Crazy. And oh then y'all shot the, your boy's girlfriend. Then they called out the sister. Hey, what did it for me was when the daddy and the son did yeah. it together. You know, but I don't, know how, I don't know how you don't know about that. I don't remember that. I, I remember that. And what's crazy thing is I remember listening to, to the so uh, the Bibby thing, like I love that song a lot, and like I f I felt his pain. Mm -hmm. Now actually knowing what happened, God, oh my God, y'all just y'all mowing down generations. As I can tell, I know young I ain't had one of these little slides. He was had a little boy dance when the little boy was cute. No, it was cute little boy. But yeah, the only thing I want to say is wow. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, uh, but that's the end of this video. I first yeah. want to say rest in peace to all the people that died yeah. in this and yeah. And those uh, in lockup. Yeah. Apparently some people still probably locked up. And crazy, huh? yeah, I just, I, uh, hope there be, I hope there would be peace. Not the way they do Oh, yeah. oh whoa, 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 listen. I know it's not going to be, be peace no time soon, but yeah. you know, later on um, five years, Hopefully there will be peace, but right. yeah, oh that is goodness. the, you have any other things to say? Yeah, this is deep. That's a lot of people dead. This but y'all. Oh, time out. And then the police. Y'all gonna leave the boy in there with the bullets in his body because he ain't got no insurance. That's fluffed up.
and infection will set in. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm sorry. That was just my tidbit. Go ahead. But I, I but before I end, I will say that song. That song is catchy and hard though. Which one? Who I, I smoke. Know. I, mm-hmm. Who I, I was smoke. all into you. It's like, mama, those are real people. Yeah. My bad. I, yeah. That's totally disrespectful. But y'all, that is the end of this crazy video. I really yeah. hope y'all enjoy this. I love you. I love you. Thank you for all of the support. Please do not forget to leave a like, comment, and if you are new to the Mother Bluffing channel, please subscribe. Please. Let's get to 3K. You did what I mean? I love you. Love ya. Peace.